love box is rosalind back at you one more again i hope everybody is doing blessed i'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you and if this is your first time stopping by my channel much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs my growing extended beautiful family just thank you so much for the love and support that you've been giving me as well as yourselves being patient even though i know times are hard and you're ready to hurry up for that big shift that you you've been you know working hard for you know and it's definitely coming you've been getting the signs that you know your blessings are heading towards your way so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video also if you are you know comfortable enough Please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you uh you know, um, if you feel like the video is very informative to you and give you good vibes, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath going through some really dark time right now and need confirmation and validation, please go ahead and share. You know, and give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on the social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you so much for the love and support. It is so greatly appreciated, and I love y'all from the bottom of my heart for that. And I hope that, you know, you're able to resonate with the content of the video. So, Lord, my cats are being hyper right now, and it's keep on zigzagging. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I keep zigzagging across the room, and it's so funny. But anyways, uh... The meditation music I'm listening to is um, 639 hertz, uh, 639 hertz of pure positive love, energy, miracle tone healing, music, heart chakra, sofigo frequency, and I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101, Hey Oka ending ending of a traumatic cycle to head towards a beautiful chapter yes you know we've been working hard we've been going through hell and back i think we got freaking fire flyer miles there you know what i'm saying because this is like we've been we've been catching it left and right going through some really deep dark stuff to where you feel like you're drowning you're drowning in like issues you're drowning in you know certain things that you've been struggling with for a long time you know you're like when am i gonna get a break you're about to get a break because you know you're going through all this hell you know we've been going through some really hard times for the last couple of years and it's just like i told y'all when we are heading towards ending a, uh, a generational cycle generational curses and karmatic cycles don't expect the, the roads to be smooth sailing you know uh-uh especially if we we doing all this we're gonna be the ones that are you know gonna be you know correcting all these things that that we've been trying to get right for the last couple of decades you know millenniums you know and you're going through all these different things left and right left and right left and right that you have to start paying attention to the signs that are coming towards you look at the synchronicities that you're having look at it, certain posts that you know you know catch you off guard or even it could be a quote you're reading up on something you're on social media and somebody you know sends a post is validating with the things that you got questions about these are all the signs that's telling you you're heading towards you know beautiful things you, you've been working really hard you know i don't know when they're coming but you know things are starting to shift for you if you just be believing in yourself pay attention to the signs around you to pay attention to how you handle things if you notice that a lot of things that you have been dealing with and struggling with for the last few years or even the last few months, you know, there could have been times where, you know, it didn't take much to stress you out. It didn't take much to anger you. It didn't take much to irritate you. Now it's like it takes a lot and it takes a lot of energy to pull you towards that, you know, pull you towards some negative energy. You know, you, you're blocking off things. You, you're, you're noticing what you're focusing your energy on what you're giving your energy to who what kind of people are you giving your energy to what things are you stay in focus on now that you want to stay in focus on before you know because you if you're so busy focusing on the issues that you have instead of you know sometimes we try to find a solution and sometimes we have to just allow that to go with the flow let this situation work out for itself you keep working on you you keep on putting better things in your life adding you know 
bettering yourself, making the best version of yourself, keep improving in ways that you weren't able to improve yourself before, being able to see the things that you weren't able to see before, you know, because sometimes we, if we're not focusing on things we're thriving for, we're so busy focusing on he say, she say, all this little drama, that's all you're going to gravitate towards is negative energy, negative situations, negative people. You know, you can start noticing the people are gravitating towards you. You know, there are certain people we're mirroring. But then there's sometimes, if you're seeing something from the outside in, this is probably something that you're doing that you, you know, you see other people doing, you're like, ugh, why, why is she doing that? Or why is he doing that? And you're like, oh, shoot, I do that too. Now you see it when it comes up from the other end, you're like, oh, wait a minute, I got to stop that. You know, and you go ahead and correct it. You know, and it's like nobody's perfect. You, you can... You have to make room for self-improvement you know being able to you know focus on the things like okay these are things about myself that i need to change these are things that i need to you know learn more about you know I, i'm just new to this new gift now what do all do i do with this gift because there's just so many gifts that you have towards yourself you know you could have just been for oh I, you know i'm a twin flame but then you find out you're an infj you're a hayoka you're you know a star seed or or anchurian or you're you know all these different things you, you're wearing all these different hats these spiritual hats that you know they're are coming towards you and it's like you know universe is not going to unload all these things on you at once but there is nobody i've ever met <laughs> you can be focused on one thing. You can tell me about your life. And there's things I'm like, hey, um, did anybody tell you about this, about yourself? Or, you know, because it's just like, like I'm a Rolodex for daggone empaths. Like, uh, well, this kind of came to me and I'm telling you about certain things. And it's like, it sets you back, you know, give you a back. You know what I'm saying? And you didn't know this about yourself. But, you know, there's a lot of people who are gravitating towards my way that are finding out more about themselves or finding out, am I the only one dealing with these situations? You know, you're growing in ways that you never thought you were going to be able to, or you probably didn't even think you would, you know, because it's just like, if you're so focused on the stressful situations you're going through, instead of, you know, let me focus, you know, okay, this is going to be an issue anyway. You know, if I don't pay attention to this, it's like not, you know, just like stop trying to find a solution to the situation. But just try to stay focused on the things that's going to better you, uplift you, elevate you, ascend you. You know, don't be focusing on like all that drama that you really don't have no, you know, you don't have no need to. Especially if you're getting, you know, you're getting messages and signs like, okay, this is going to fix itself. But we need you to work on this right now. And, you know, when universe sends you towards a certain direction, you need to go with it. <laughs> then you really need to go with it. Because there are certain things that I had to really step back. When it comes to my life on certain angles, I really had to step back and just look. And that's all you had to do is just look. Just watch. Okay? It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm going to keep doing me, though. I'm going to keep bettering myself. You know, I can't You know, I can't deal with all the other things that's coming up. You know, I, I got to let it handle itself. You know, if it's really important, if you let it go, and you set this, like, okay... You ask God for all these different things that's in your life. You can't keep coming back and saying the same thing. I wish this would happen and this happened. And it was like I had to tell myself that you got to stop doing that. If you want these certain situations and you know you done prayed on, you know you're working towards that, allow the universe to do that work for you. You do your part. They're doing theirs. And those are the things you need to do. Don't keep saying the same thing over again. They heard you the 20, 2011 time. That you know I said it. Because there's times I got irritated, pissed off, and be like, oh, I'm ready to go. You know, I'm tired of dealing with this and this and that. They know you are. They trust me, they know you are, but they're not gonna be able to take you out of this situation till you know how to part your ways with it. Allow it to fix itself. There's I mean, you could you can't control the people around you, but you can control what you put focus your energy on. You can control on how you react to certain things, because you know, empaths. We always, we, we gravitate towards psychopaths. We, we got sociopaths. We got narcissists coming at you. You have to be able to, you know, put them in their place or don't even engage in it because some of them, you know, people will poke at you just to see if, you know, you're going to, you know, snap at them, you know, go back or they're going to pull you down to their level. Don't, don't go in nobody's storm. You pull them towards your peace. Don't do that. And if they can't handle that peace, tell them goodbye.
<laughs> do what you need to do. But know you have better days are coming towards you. You know if you've been working hard. You know you've been going through hell and high water. It's just like, you know, before, you know, I get on one-on-ones with people. But, they, you know, I had to really tell some of my one-on-ones, hey, don't take it personal. But I cut myself off from everybody because I got to focus on me right now. I got a mission that I'm trying to, pretend, you know, pertain to. You know, and I, I will be able to help you, but I got to help myself. Sometimes you got to say no, you know, especially if you got you got to work on yourself because you can't work. You can't work off on everybody else and you still a hot mess. You can't do that. You know, you can help assist to a certain extent. But when you start seeing your stuff over here that needs to be worked on and you neglecting it to help somebody else, you can't put all your energy towards something else because when you need some energy for yourself, you ain't going to have that. So that's why I had to, you know, I said, Rosalind, you Rosalind got to pertain to Rosalind. Rosalind got to work on Rosalind. So that's the reason why I have not got back a hold of y'all's comments. You know, y'all coming at me with all these different comments. And I haven't got a hold of them yet. But when they're telling me I got to do this first, I will gladly get back to y'all comments. Because usually, I, you know, I try to hit them up the same day. But I've been going through a lot of stuff. So I've been having to, you know, when I'm, when my energy off, you know, ootsy dootsy like that. I just, I, I don't try to engage in replying to nothing because that energy goes off back to somebody else and I don't try to do that but yeah when you're working on yourself you got to work on yourself sometimes you got to have solitude you know a lot of times I was at that point where I did not like being alone with my thoughts I did not like being my own friend you know with me going through the situation I had it, you know when people started noticing you know what was really going on with me there's it was too heavy for them or they couldn't believe it or they didn't want to believe it. And that had to not be true. So I start losing friends left and right, left and right. Wondering why is everybody leaving me? Why is everybody deserting me? You know, when you go through a spiritual awakening, you lose friends, you lose your job, your family think you're crazy. You know, all these different things. They'll have your life turned all upside down. But it's just like they need to break you down for you to be put put back and create yourself to where you were, you're supposed to be. So you have to be able to work on yourself, but you also have to be able to pay attention to the signs that are coming towards you. As long as you know you're working on yourself, you know, you can't deal with all the things that's going around about you. Sometimes, even when it has to do with family, you know, that's the hardest thing you have to do is cut yourself off from family. You know, mine is just like, all I have is my children and there's, you know, my children's getting grown. You only got one baby at home and she's not even a baby no more. She's graduating this year. So I don't even get a chance to really deal with my kids like that either. You know, but I try to stay supportive in, in the, you know, in the shadows of them. Just, you know, if you need mom, I'm here, you know, but whatever. But it comes to my family, family, I've cut everybody off. I've cut everybody off because of my situation. I said, I don't know who didn't know or, you know, acting like you didn't know. But since I don't know, I'm cutting all y'all off. I ain't got time. You know, that was some messed up stuff I had to go through and finding out what I had to find out. And people knew about my life before I did. Oh, no. I got to cut all of y'all off. <laughs> so, with me finding myself and knowing who I truly am and where I fit at in life, I, you have to do that. You have to, you have to have solitude. That's what a spiritual awakening really puts you through. An awakening <laughs> that you need to put to pay attention to in your life so know there's beautiful things coming in knowing you have went through a hellish traumatic cycle but you also have a beautiful chapter you are about to walk into so be prepared watch out for that door that's opening and be prepared to haul butt through that door because you deserve it so you know don't don't second guess yourself on that so i hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video give me you know your opinion about this drop me a line so i can give you a post notification shout out you know like and subscribe hit that bell you know share thumbs up and i will see you on, on the next video much love to you peace be wild